Peeky boo. Say hi to the vlog. Okay, well, he's back there. I don't know what we got on the agenda today, necessarily. We're doing maybe a rod and reel arsenal. I've been getting a lot of, see, happens every time. I've been getting a lot of comments about an updated rod and reel arsenal. I've got a few, a handful of new like rods, and right now I'm actually at Field and Stream. There's a guy here who services reels out here in the Prosper Field and Stream and Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm picking up the Scorpion Man. I don't think you guys have seen this reel in like over a year on the vlogs, but it's literally like our favorite reel. It's our first DC reel. And the video of its like first impressions got more views than I think any of my other fishing videos. So I'm picking it up. I just got a service because it's been clanky and messed up after we kind of dropped it a long time ago. And it's just been sitting on the shelf. The Metanium DC as well, we got that serviced. So why not put those on a couple rods and then just do an Arsenal video. We'll probably update this Arsenal in the next month or two as well because you know we're switching to most likely all Guggen rods, right? As soon as I get the uh, full Arsenal in lineup, we're going to talk a lot about those. But White Tundra. Okay, just sent him a text. Grab the reels. Then we're going to head over to the Guggen HQ. I'm going to grab some more lines, some more baits. Uh, I need a handful of soft plastics. I'm running low. So stay tuned for a casual update vlog. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Zeke, we got him. Check him out, man. Well, there, Metanium, Scorpion, DCs. Let's see if she's a little banged up. Let me allow that to focus for a second. Hopefully that will. And then I kind of know my Metanium by heart. It's got that signature scratch on the top there. Actually, it's got a couple signatures, little character is all that is. The uh, Metanium is back to being smooth as ever. It really just needed a cleanup and it's looking brand spanking new aside from the scratches. Now the Scorpion, hmm. It's not, it's not flawless, and what he told me is he usually will replace the gears in this case, and so if I want to get the gears replaced, he said that the schematics is only in Japanese, and so I need to hunt down the box for the Scorpion DC, that way he knows what parts to order from Shimano if I choose to get it fixed, but honestly, it's nothing like it was before we took it to him. It's feeling so much smoother. I am not going to have an issue fishing this. He said it's not an issue to fish it like this. It's just got like a slight... Like as you reel, it's not as smooth as out of the box, but it's not clanky like it was. So we are happy campers. The thing looks fantastic. Zeke, let's head over to the warehouse. Yeah, you can't wait. There we go, the juice. Drop shot season. Zeke, we gotta grab some grande clutches. There we go. Got some goodies. It's all you. I think I'll put this up front so you can peek out the windows. trailers got some more pre-release Guggen toads color you guys haven't seen me throw yet fire crawl grande clutch this is my first grande clutch because I've been enjoying those mini clutches I had to get a handful of line because we pretty much need to spool up every reel in the arsenal but we got those two without anything that are just fresh off the service I got two 50 pound braid packages I got two 15 pound fluorocarbon spools and then I got one 12 pound for a little bit lighter Let's get everything spooled up and showcase the arsenal. All right, gang, what you've all been waiting for, the updated rod and reel arsenal. Let's start the bidding off with the Shimano Zodius Carbon rod. This is a medium light. I bought this specifically when I went to go fish smallmouth up north with Lunkers TV. It's a 7.3 medium light. I was throwing the lightest of stuff and you get long accurate cast with the fact that it's not like a six and a half foot rod. It's seven foot three so you can get some good distance and that little soft tip just really flings the bait out there. You know if you use like an like a fast tip on some lighter baits, you go to fling that and it just like whoop drops straight down half the time. So not only that, but also whenever you go to set the hook, a lot of times like this is rated for like five to ten pound line. So you're really finessing down when you use this and going with those lighter baits. So you're not like jamming hook sets with this thing either. You're usually just kind of leaning into it. That softer tip helps ease some tension and take that off the line and put more of it on the rod. So it's very expensive quality components when it comes to the eyelets, carbon finish all over the whole thing, black and red design. And then I've got the 3000 spool size 
this Stratic CI4 Plus. We have two Stratics, uh, and you'll notice this one's got more of like the power handle on it versus the traditional handle on the, I think it's a 2000, but we'll get to that in just a second. So first rod and reel. Now where am I gonna set all these? Oh boy, some stuff's about to break. Next up guys, first of all, don't forget to turn all your notifications on because I'm gonna drop a new rod and reel arsenal sometime here in the near future. What's going on is I'm making a transition to all of the new Guggen Squad Gold and Green Series rods. I have a lot of rods just like this one that were early prototypes from the Guggen Squad. So we'll cover them, but a lot of them came to us as blanks. I was just kind of handed a handful. This guy right here I want to say is possibly like a seven foot two. Uh, medium action rod and it's paired up with a Shimano Sienna reel. I believe I got this thing for like 30 bucks from Fun and Sun. Great starter reel, 2500 spool size. We needed an extra spinning rod and reel combo at the time so we went ahead and picked this guy up. I believe we've got 15 pound braid on this and then I would assume this is like an 8 or 10 pound liter. Here we have the brand new Guggen Green Series finesse rod. I believe this is the seven footer two piece measuring tape on the side so you can measure your catches. This one here is probably going to be my go-to finesse setup for a little while. It's got the 2500 Shimano Stratic on there, the CI4 Plus model with that standard handle versus the power on the other. I've got a drop shot tied on here. So in that hook keeper on the bottom, I actually keep the weight from the drop shot. Boom. You could go ahead and put your hook in the hook keeper, but then you've got that weight dangling. It gets caught around the reels, other setups in your vehicle or wherever you store your rods. It becomes a whole mess. So that's a good way to store your drop shots is just by cranking down that very last bit into your hook keeper right there. Y'all are going to be seeing a lot of this combo right here. When it gets to be winter time for sure, we're going to be going drop shot. We're going to be going Ned Rig. We're going to be going for nests. So be looking out. This is going to be a staple in the lineup. Next up, another Guggen prototype. I want to say this one's probably a 7.4 medium heavy fast or somewhere along those lines. I've been using it for some top water applications. I've got some braid on here on an uh, SLX DC. Uh, this is the 151, so uh, left-hander. If you were getting the right-hander, it would be a 150. Shimano has odd numbers, and you'll notice that with a couple other combos of ours for their left-handed designated reels. So this is the 150 spool size, essentially. 151 left-hander. You get the point. Not much else to say here. This is 30 pound braid. I'm going to be respooling it with some Guggen 50 pound here shortly. It's running a little bit low. This is some stuff I've had on here for a while. So 50 pound braid on this top water setup right here. Next up, Powell Endurance 7.6 Mag Medium Fast Action. So it's kind of like an extra medium, I guess, when they use that mag designation. It says that this guy is rated good for swimmers, frogs, flip, and jigs. So uh, some swim baits under one ounce or up to one ounce. Uh, frogs, yes, but I've been generally liking more of a, a shorter rod. What are these cats doing? 7.3 heavy. Max, I'm filming a video. So for me lately, I've been liking something even like a 7.2 or a 7.3 heavy fast rod. That way I can get more walk because that rod tip is angled down. You want the tip close to the water whenever you're walking your baits. And so the 7.6 kind of gets in the way sometimes. So yes, it does say use it for frogs. And yes, you can get some long cast bombing into the pads and you can really rip them through the thick stuff with the extra length here. But I do like a little bit shorter rod for walking some frogs. So just point that out. It's also rated for some jigs as well. So uh, we have got 15 pound fluorocarbon on a Corrado K. I would say we've been using this a lot lately for those 4.8 inch saucy swimmers. That's been a big time hit this fall. Cork grip sensitivity on these rods has been fantastic all across those Powell endurances. And also it's got the hook keeper right here on the top. Next up we have the freshly serviced and back in action Scorpion DC. One of our favorite reels, man. It's import only. If you guys want to pick this thing up, I have an Amazon link to it down in the description. It's very exclusive. Less people have this than more like the Corrados and all the stuff you can buy around here in stores nowadays now that they've gained popularity. It also has IDC5, like the more very expensive Metanium DC, and so you're getting that for under 300 bucks. I would say if you want to try just one DC and you're willing to spend a little bit of money, I would go with the Scorpion right here. With that being said, we've got it spooled up with some, this might be 12 pound, but it might be a 15 pound fluorocarbon here, and uh, we got a crankbait tied on. I think this is like a 7.3 medium fast tip rod. So this is not ideal for a moving bait like this. When we're filming videos and we're running and gunning, oftentimes Devin and I will just tie something on to whatever combo we've got on deck that's got either the floor or the braid we want real fast to uh, get back in the water and try and get some catches. But we have some Guggen Squad reaction rods coming soon and you'll be seeing us throw crankbaits on stuff like that. This guy right here says he's rated for Sankos jigs, flukes, Texas rigs, and spinner baits. So I'd definitely throw some Sankos on this, some flukes, some spinner baits. But when it comes to Texas rigs and jigs, I prefer throwing them on the 7.6 versus the 7.3. So last on the Powell Endurance rods, we have the 7.6 Mag Medium Heavy Fast Action. This guy is actually rated for up to three ounce baits. So we started throwing some swim baits before we got into dedicated swim bait setups on this guy right here. At the moment, he's got a uh, Texas rig set up. Oh yeah, it's not set up for a Texas rig, my bad. I was throwing the Guggen Explode Toad on this the other day. 
today. That's why it's braided just to a straight five aught Guggenhammer hook. It says this one is for swimmers wake baits, top water, and flipping. So some heavy duty stuff. If you're trying to get these fish through grass and pads, uh, flipping into heavy cover, wake baits, throwing some larger baits on the surface, expecting some big fish and swimmers, you're getting into some bigger swim baits when you got a rating up to three ounce. So this guy right here is really for some powerful stuff. We have it uh, rigged up with the Corrado DC at the moment and 50 pound Guggen Squad braid. I think just about everything we've had rigged up by the way so far we've got from Carl's Bait and Tackle. So if you guys want to save up to 30% on your tackle, check the link in the description. Let's get to the next combo. All right, y'all, we're almost to the heavy artillery, the big swim bait gear and our one Guggen gold rod that we have at the moment. Let's talk about these last two Guggen prototype rods. I won't mention much about the rods. Uh, I think they're both like 7.3 to 7.4 medium heavies right here. We've got a Texas rig on one, a jig on the other, but the reels, we just got this bad boy service. This is our Metanium DC, our highest dollar reel, I think, at the moment. I think it came in at like a cool 450 buckaroos from Fun and Sun Boats when they had a sale on it. Uh, it's regularly like a $500 reel. I bought this originally to do some reviews, to do some talking points, first impressions, and these cats are going crazy. And really just invest into the channel, showcase it for you guys, and maybe provide some information that you find helpful to maybe go purchase one of these if it's something you're looking for. With that being said, I don't recommend going out and spending this much money just because a lot of folks have made this reel sound like it's all that in a bag of chips. It is great if you're out there fishing tournaments. If you're really in it and you want the best of performance and reliability, go with something like this. It's got a smaller spool. So the Metanium DC, y'all, I want to say this is in the, uh, it might be the XG if I'm not mistaken. I think we got the extra high gear ratio on that guy and then I've got an SLX XT right here this is uh, I think the most affordable Shimano casting reel we have and I really like this one so if you guys are looking to get into Shimano I would uh, I would go for something like the SLX XT 100% uh, 140 bucks you might even be able to find it cheaper like 130 maybe 120 if you got a sale going somewhere and it's got a clean like satin finish the the SLX DC has a matte finish it almost looks like cheaper even though it's a little bit higher dollar it's just their entry-level DC reel to get you guys in there getting the DC system getting backlashes when they say you won't <laughs> different braking system I believe the XT is centrifugal or centrifugal versus even like the standard even cheaper SLX which I believe is just the traditional magnetic braking and then the DC of course has got the uh, digital chip in there that kind of like gauges 1,000 times per second what your bait is doing and adjusts the brakes for you you'll still get some backlashes I really like the SLX XT anyways guys we've got it spooled up with uh, 15 pound fluorocarbon at the moment and that is that also 15 pound on the metanium dc recently spooled up recently serviced and back in action closing in on the finish line guys let's go ahead and talk about the guggen gold rod and then we're going to just get to the swim bait setups and we are done like dinner boys this is the guggen squad gold series twitch rod ideal for jerk baits and even some walking top water baits if you've got some treble hooks on there perfect for working those jerk baits and walking baits because like i said i like that shorter rod you can angle this one down at the water a little bit more having that rod tip down is going to be best when you're working those jerk baits best when you're working those walking top waters and so with that this guy is a 6'9 medium moderate it's something different for me i haven't thrown anything like shorter than a 7'2 medium heavy and the longest but after getting this in my hands and working some jerk baits with this thing uh, i definitely prefer the short size especially just off the boat on the bank you don't have that rod tip kind of pointed up more to work those baits when you're working a jerk bait you're not trying to like pop it up out of the water you're trying to work it down and then the same with those walking baits of course that tip closer to the water is going to help you get that proper walk so Guggen Squad Twitch Rod, been absolutely loving it. And we've got the Scorpion MGL, another imported reel that has got so many questions over time, like on our Instagram post, the thing is absolutely a beauty. Link down in the description if you wanna help support the channel, consider purchasing the reel through that Amazon link. We earn a small commission anytime you guys use those links, which helps us purchase more things to do review and cool videos for y'all. We're definitely looking forward to the full lineup. We want the muscle, we want the reaction. We need the reaction rod, because we've got a reaction bait tied on this thing. Devin and I were going for an MTB slam the other day and like I said we just tie on whatever's got the right line so that we can start filming but the things are light and durable gonna stand up beautiful construction beautiful look I really like the gold series and I look forward to showcasing the full lineup here very soon on the next rod and reel arsenal let's talk to you guys about the big setups all right y'all we're talking big baits now and this is a large bait indeed almost a four ounce bait and with that comes some heavy artillery so we have got a Tranks 400 with the power handle you absolutely don't need this Devin and I when we purchased it had musky fishing in 
in mind. We had some saltwater fishing in mind. In fact, we're going to be using this on a trip to Florida coming up soon. Again, notifications, turn those things on if you want to see these new vids drop. So, Tranks 400, and uh, we've got 25 pound Seaguar Abraze X on this guy right here. Eight foot, heavy, fast, 20 to 40 pound line four to eight ounce lure recommendations. So you can really chunk out the big stuff on this. And Devin and I, this was our first swim bait rod. We purchased it for $40 used on Facebook Marketplace, guys. Absolutely what you wanna do when you're getting into some bigger baits. The rods get very expensive, like we're gonna showcase here in just a second. We've got a couple behind us that are kind of our go-to swim bait setups now, but we did not spend all this money to get started. And you don't need to spend all the money we've spent on gear. This is between my wife and I, an investment into the channel. Don't think you gotta start off with expensive gear. Devin and I bought 40 dollar combos when we first started these fishing vlogs and that was like expensive to us. I'm like, you can spend more than $20 on a rod and reel. I just couldn't imagine even buying a $50 combo at first and look at us a few years later. This is what it's come to. Uh, <laughs> but you pay for quality and reliability with these reels, hands down. I've had many others that we've used early on break on us that were like in that uh, 25 to 75, oh, 25 to hundred dollar range. We went through quite a few reels. And so once we've got on, once we got on the Shimano train, it's just been no looking back. We are happy to pay the premium up front knowing that they will last. When it comes to rods, same thing. I wouldn't go all out in the very beginning and get the most high dollar setups out there just because other people are using them. The fact is you won't notice the difference if you're new at fishing. Once you've been fishing for a little while, then you can appreciate a higher quality blank that's a little bit lighter, more sensitive, less weight. You can appreciate some of these things. You don't need to worry about it off the start. So that is my little rant on the uh, amount of money you should be spending when you first get into this stuff, guys. Don't go crazy with your spending. So we're talking about the last combos now, but just back on that point, a lot of these reels have even helped pay for themselves just from the videos we've made. So as we make videos and they get those views and you earn an income off of those views, a lot of it is because we're doing a specific review to to a rod or a reel and that helps recoup some of that money spent. So it's easy to think we just spent a ton of money on gear. Don't want you to get that impression. With that being said, we have accumulated quite the lot of gear these last few years. So last but not least is really uh, just a duplicate, the same combo. We've got our Mojo Bass A-Rig and Swim Bait Rods uh, by St. Croix. These are 710 heavy, fast rods right here, rated one to four ounce baits. So we've been using a lot of our soft plastic larger swim baits right here up to about three ounces, I would say. Absolutely love these rods, the finish out, the quality, the feel. Uh, I definitely dig the longer handle for those far bombing casts on those big baits. You got to have it. Again, also for jamming those big time hook sets on these big baits from further away, you've got bigger hooks. You really got to set that hook. And so uh, you can do that with this rod. The reel is going to be a Tranks 200. This is kind of like the husband and wife swim bait setup right here. So uh, Devin's got the 200 I have the 201 so they're both the 200 spool size one is right-handed one is left-handed that's the only difference and we've got these spooled up with 20 pound Seaguar Abraze X so that's the combos right there y'all and then it was some St. Croix Mojo Bass some Tranks our favorite swim bait setups linked in the description thank you guys for sticking around till the end please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on once more we've got some fun stuff coming your way guys brand new catch co collaboration baits with Lawson Lindsay that's right we're gonna be heading out and hitting the salt water very soon we have got top waters we got shrimp we got big old jerk baits we grabbed a little bucktail jig we got the spoons we really have got everything we think we need for a fun saltwater vacation out to Florida it's gonna be happening soon we might even link up with some other popular creators you guys have heard of but never seen us collaborate with it's gonna be a ton of fun we're taking the kayaks man hopefully fishing some docks in the canal of the area we're staying in on the ocean hopefully hitting some piers maybe chunking some baits off the beach you guys let us know what you want to see and we're gonna try our best to deliver with some new content for you guys spice things up a bit I hope you're ready catch you then peace Hey! <gasps>